it's uh, Peter here and I'm here to wish you happy birthday. I wish I could be there in person, but it's not going to happen this year, maybe next year. Uh, and Trudy's in Canberra, maybe she'll be able to get you a, a video clip in time for, for your birthday. Um, I'm going to take you on a little tour around the house, which you were here eight years ago exactly for your 90th birthday. And I hope Sam and Sarah will be able to get some video clips, I'm on my own at the moment, uh, into you um, before the end of today. Okay, let's go on a little walk. Hey Gran, just wanted to say happy birthday. I really hope I'm as sprightly and gorgeous as you are at 98 years old. Miss you lots and I hope you're doing okay over there with all the corona and other 2020 related catastrophes that are going on. Love you lots. Lovely happy birthday. We hope you're going well. Now Will has a joke for you. What's your joke, Will? Why did the toy the do I want to it? You know I got bit flat. That's a great joke. Can um, I say my joke? Yeah, you say your joke. <laughs> what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? I don't know. What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Do you like that joke, Will? Yeah. Yeah. So from us to you, I hope you're going well. We hope you have a wonderful birthday. Very, very happy birthday. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. You a very, very happy birthday and letting you know that we're so sorry we can't be this there this year. Um, hope you have a wonderful day despite COVID. Cheers to you, my darling. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say hello. Come on up, Louis. He's looking very, very happy because he's just had a walk. Not to see so well, but these are some of Sam's paintings and he's selling a lot of them. These are hip hop artists. He's using our kitchen as a sort of temporary gallery, but they're all sold online all over the place. And here is Millie the cat and she's 20 years old and is living glorious retirement. Bring out the bird table on the deck here and normally the parrots are in to feed. They don't seem to be here today, but I'll put a clip in of a couple from yesterday. I'll go for a walk down the garden. Because it's spring, the flowers are out. It is getting a little bit too hot. In fact, a lot of the flowers have gone. Look at these hippie astrums. I think these are little heartsies or little pansies. And quite a show of calendulas, I think they are. Remember the little pond halfway down? The pathway which the kids had mosaiced? Well, it's still full of fish eating the mosquito larvae. But here's the kids' old swing that Will still uses it. And here is Zoe's shed. Um, with a bee house on the outside. And we still have the swimming pool. I think you remember the swimming pool where your floating shoes nearly upended you. Able to see, you might be able to see there are netted enclosures here. Now these are the wicking beds the above ground garden beds that I built that are self-watering from our from our water tank and they are absolutely well that that is spinach growing in there spinach trees down in the jungly area here's the uh, the first pond on the ground hardly see it because it's so overgrown but there are frogs in there now this time of year, always fish. That's a seat, you can hardly see it. It's made of mud and cement. We've got to mosaic at some point, but we all call it the mud seat because that's pretty much what it was. Walking down a bit further. You remember we had a great big pond down the bottom. And it's got one of Sam's sculptures in there. Maybe you can hear a bird in the background. That's the channel build cuckoo. That signifies spring. There are some of our canoes stored behind the trees. I'm just moving around. 
and over there in the middle of the picture is the shed that Trudy and I built. It took us a year to build it. Here's the seat that Will and Zoe use to go fishing when they're feeding the fish in the pond. Now that's a better view of the shed. And this is and here's the fireplace the bottom of the garden and that's the uh, the rack that we put the cooking cans on and the kids come and boil up frankfurters down here and there's luigi fussing around luigi what are you doing you lost something in there take you on a walk into trudy's potting shed it's a bit more than a potting shed it's where she grows on a lot of the seedlings that we need for the community garden Here we are. You can see it's completely netted against possums and cockatoos and beasties that want to eat things. There we are. Everything grows so well here. Through the pink door is the shed itself. It's actually really a studio. We lined it, put lights in it, and it's full of crap. <laughs> oh, actually vegetation of different sorts. For Trudy, she makes a lot of woven fiber craft and stuff in here too. And we recycled, I don't know whether you can see these doors, they're from old wardrobes we got given. We just took the doors off and made cupboards out of them. And the handles, you can see that, they can't really because of the sun, the tree roots. Look up there. This is the macadamia tree. It's completely covered in blossoms. Maybe you can hear the tree is alive with bees. If every one of these flowers formed a macadamia, we could retire to the Bahamas tomorrow. Here's our crop of lemons. It's actually, we've taken a lot off, but it's almost breaking the branch of the tree. There's the uh, garden studio. And we have Marke and Tupo living there, who are from Tonga with their little baby Valu. He's an electronic engineer and she is a genetic geneticist, plant geneticist, and she's working on salt resistant cabbage crops for the Pacific Islands because of sea level rise. And there we are in the garden. It's Tupo and Valu. Hello, Valu. Oh, you're looking beautiful this morning, beautiful. You say hello to my mum. Hello. <laughs> now there's the front of the house you might remember. But what you probably won't remember is this off-road hybrid caravan. It's built like a space capsule and it's tough as anything and it goes over corrugated roads through storms and we're going to travel in it. Front entry. We have a couple of seats here because if visitors come and we're socially distancing and we don't want them inside, we meet out here. Hi Mum, well I'm back in the office and uh, clearly the kids did manage to get some video together for you which is fantastic. It's They're all over the place and I called them up and they sent them in on their, on their phones. Uh, Next year, maybe when you're 99, hopefully things might have got a bit easier. I'd love to come in and see you then for your birthday then. In the meantime, we love you, admire everything that you do and uh, have a wonderful birthday. And I hope Cook treats you well on your special day. Bye.